Good news, everyone. Star Trek Lower Decks is back for a third season. Wait, did I just say good news? Nah, I meant, well, not that. What makes a good animated show? Is it the animation? The characters? The humor? The storyline? Well, you don't get any of that here. Let me give you an initial reaction to this show. I'm getting the feeling this is how people who know the MCU more than I do feel when watching She-Hole, at least based on the reactions I've been noticing. As in, when you see the deviations from the source material that you are familiar with, you get upset and even maybe downvote it. I watched Star Trek Prodigy, the kids show. While I found it to be the least annoying of all the new Star Trek content put out recently, I had a problem with its animation style. I still preferred that ugly animation to this trash though. Why does everything I try to watch have to be drawn like Steven Universe or Rick and Morty? But beyond that, the show is so bland it actually hurts. Did they give up trying to be funny? I remember in season 1, the show was trying to use the same jokes that I had heard for the last 20 plus years. So, in the time that I haven't watched season 2, did they just run out of these jokes? Because I mostly missed that part where the show was trying to be funny. What's worse is that they have the potential but just waste it. I noticed the Catracel white hot sauce container at the table, which is a joke I would have expected in Futurama, so this leads me to expect more humor. But then, if they make any jokes in the next 10 minutes or so. They are so overused, I would have expected this to be a companion show in 1992 rather than current year. At least they confirmed that Kirk has got here, but then what would he need with a starship? So a brief summary of what we have going on. The crew of the Kerberos is grounded because the pack led homeworld blew up. The captain is going to stand trial for this because there's a video of her next to a bomb. This girl here is upset and decides that she can't trust the system, despite her dad trying to reassure her that she can, so she decides that she's going to go right Rogue. The main group of friends that we love, this girl, this guy, this guy, and this girl, decide to get this guy's logs because he is creepy and such, and meticulously copies the logs of the captain as she makes them. They want these logs because the original got corrupted, all of which would show that the centaur was nowhere near the planet at the time of the explosion. This cyborg guy knows where the ship is because he caught a glimpse of the coordinates where it is currently docked, so they go to a transporter place to get the ship stealthily. This fails, so they go to Montana instead to hijack the first contact ride to go to the ship instead. They find the records that this guy kept, but it turns out that he also included personal notes, such as how gassy a planet made him. Comedy gold. The girl gets mad because it renders the whole logbook a joke, making it hard to use as evidence, but everyone convinces her to try to use the logs anyway. Then, Doc Security catches up with them. But some passing luminous life forms use the ship to mate. So these guys say that they can't be interrupted because they are currently studying this. Security's like, yeah, sure, cool. Just let us know who authorized this. Just before they're caught, however, the captain walks in and says that she did. Turns out the system actually saved her. The girl gets into trouble and now has to work under the Commander Riker looking guy. Two positive things. One, I'm glad that they didn't pull present justice system politics into this show. No matter how you feel about the system we have in the US right now, the Federation is different and it's supposed to be a utopia. I'm glad that they kept that separate. Second, it was a nice touch to add the first contact music to when the Phoenix was taking off. I just love that theme. Oh, and I guess the pack lid plan of blowing up their planet to get moved to a more resource-rich one was amusing. But the rest of the show is, is just there. At least when I'm watching She-Hulk at the time of this recording, which is about episode 2, the show is setting up the premise, so I really don't expect much. Lower Decks is currently in its third season. It should be established by now. However, the show is just not funny. It's too cliched, the characters haven't felt like they've grown since I dropped off in season 1, and I have a hard time watching a show that, with these two other other points cannot at all be considered canon given the references and then the actions that the crew take. I cannot believe that this was the best new Trek show that I've seen to date, although that really isn't saying much. Star Trek Discovery and Picard are offensively bad. They challenge how stupid a show can be in writing, plot, actions, and characters. Star Trek Lower Decks is bad because of mediocrity. And if you're as mad as I am, or even if not, hit that subscribe hippo wherever he is on the screen. Also, what are your thoughts? If you could provide them below, that would be greatly appreciated.